So it's easy to get into the mindset when we're talking about these counting problems of thinking of everything as far as should it be a combination or permutation. But these are, you know, not every problem lends themselves to these. And actually they're, they tend not to be. Um, I don't know. Some problems are, some problems aren't. Um, but that multiplication principle can be used uh, in many different circumstances. Suppose, uh, let's see, how many ways can you select a five character sequence of alphanumerics? So when I say alphanumerics, um, I'm going to ignore different capitalizations, um, let's say all lowercase. If you're talking about passwords or something like that, um, you would probably consider um, uppercase letters separately from lowercase letters and, and so on. Uh, but we're just going to say um, alphanumeric, so all lowercase, so uh, letters and digits. There are 26 letters and 10 di digits, so that means there'd be 36 choices for each of these. So in how many different ways can you select a sequence of alphanumerics if the first character must be a W and it must end in two digits? So this would definitely be a situation where you just want to use your multiplication principle, um, where you have five different choices to make. Uh, the first letter must be a W, so there's kind of not a choice there. Um, this doesn't say anything about um, not being able to repeat letters. So um, there's that. Let's see. It must end in two digits, so I know there's 10 choices for those two for each of those. And there'd be 36 choices for these middle two because there's no other restrictions. Those are just generic alphanumerics. So we get 36 squared times 100, which is... One two nine six zero zero. If we say order, and so here's a little bit of a flow chart that might help you decide between these different counting techniques. Uh, if order matters, um, so if order matters, let's say no versus yes. If order does not matter, then you're almost guaranteed that we're, uh, in this class we're talking about a combination problem. If order, uh, if order does not matter, if order does matter, then you might be talking about a permutation or you might be talking about one of these generic problems where you have, um, you yeah, know, where you're just going to be using the multiplication principle. And really the distinguishing part here is whether or not it's with or without replacement. If it's without replacement, what I mean by replacement meaning um, you can use if it's with replacement, you can use the letter, the same letter multiple times. Uh, replacement, another way of saying that is with rep repetition. Um, we say replacement because we're talking about if you think of a deck of cards, uh, if you draw the card and you don't put it back, then that's without replacement. If you draw the card and you do put it back and reshuffle before you draw the next card, that's with replacement. So if it's without replacement um, and order matters, we're dealing with permutation. If it's Without replace, or if it's if order matters and it's with replacement, then we're probably then we're going to be dealing with just a multiplication principle. And you're just it's probably better to just kind of do out your uh, your places here and figure out the number of different ways you can go with each decision.